Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important app. The app name is Sansevision app. So basically, in this video, we are going to discuss with you that what is Sansevision app, what are its features and function. Then we'll tell you that how you download on your mobile phone and how you configure them to make the camera live and able to access all its features. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel. And please comment if you have any doubt. We'll make a separate video for that. So Sansevision app is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your mobile screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. If we are talking about its feature and function, then by using this app, you are able to view live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, but also a multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You take the snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take the backup of a recorded videos and many more. Now will tell you that how you download on your mobile phone and how you configure for this you should open your app store and search for sense vision now this app comes live now you find the option in my cam get and in sense cam you find a cloud option because i already installed to check it that's why it's come like that so if you are installing it first time you should click on the get if you're installing a second time on many other times then you should click on this cloud So just click on this orange option like computer screen just like that now when you click on this you find the option a qr code scanning like this so if you are in front of the device then you should use this qr code and if someone sent you that qr code you should select your album like that and and if you are if want to add your device by using your serial number by using your local ip address by using a static ip address then you should click on this right corner plus button like this and now click allow once or allow while using app here you find a two option wi-fi config and manually add so i will go for the manually add if wi-fi config is used when your device and your uh, mobile phone is on the same network means both are connected to the same router then you should use Wi-Fi config otherwise you should click on the manually add now here you should put any anything like which you easily remember like in my case I use a test device and it asks for a serial number so you can use your serial number here Now I enter my serial number. Again, ask for a username and password. Please note that this is the username and the password of the device. Device means device you are adding. It may be a DVR, it may be NVR. So don't be confused here. People are commenting too much that what is this password and username. So don't be confused here. It is the username and password of the device you are adding. And after that, 
click OK. When you click OK, you find that your device add like this. Just double click, just click on that. And after that, click any cam like this. Okay, so its camera comes live. Now we'll tell you option one by one, starting from the first option uh, from the right side. It's a setting type icon. Just if you want to set set the date time and you want to ch change the recording modes and like you want to ch check the remote playback, then you should click on this. Okay. Like here, I if you want to check the uh, remote playback, you should click here. Like you here, I don't have art disk, but I will tell you that how you use this. For example, I want to check the record of 20th December. Just click OK, and again click here. You uh, you have a time, and in this way, just click on the play button. In this way, you can check the remote video, rec the remote recording. Now the second option is a screenshot option. If you want to take a screenshot of the uh, video. Then just click on this screenshot. It, it can take your screenshot and it will show stored on your mobile phone. And if you want to record the live video, just click on the third option. Uh, you, you see that timer start. It means that your recording is start. If you want to stop, just again double click it. It will stop. Okay. And if your camera is audio enabled and you want to hear the voice of the camera, just click on this speaker up like this my camera is not audio enabled so you won't hear anything now if your device is two-way communicating means your camera your or your nvr or dvr support two-way audio then you click on this mic option and press hold and hello hello you you use you communicate by like that so again it's not uh, my device is not communicating so my device doesn't support two-way communication so it, it it does not support and here you find the option hd and sd just click on that when you click on hd you the camera become more clear but but it take more bandwidth and when you when you be clear click on sd it will more fluent but it it have a little compromise with the quality now click on the Here you find the option PTZ. If you want to have a PTZ camera, you want to control, you should control it from here. Now you find the option 14916. Basically, this is the view that how you view the camera like this. You have four camera channel view, single camera view, and a 16 camera view. So you can change the view from here. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.